Hello everyone, welcome to this session. Now for today, we are just going to create an ADP sorting algorithm so that we're able to uh, yeah, create ADP for this our sorting algorithm that we have created. At this uh, moment, we have actually created three algorithms which are bubble sort, exchange sort, and selection sort particularly. So this time, we are going to create ADP for that, let's say, uh, ADP sort and then yeah so what we are just going to do is let's just copy some and copy for this we are going to first is we are going to copy first the bubble sort and then let's say we have here let's start copying from here it and then yeah, so there you are. We have here public. Start with the name. We're going to create a bubble sort uh, method. Public string. Uh, bubble sort. And then, so this time we are going to create an array it and then we're gonna be called all right so what we have right here what is this oh, I still have all I oh, know uh I'm used into using hold as a string, so this time it's just going to be like that. Okay, and then after that, we are just going to to return the this one, return all, return all, right? So that's it. We have now created a bubble sort method. So in this case. Can now just we can now call it anytime we want. So for an instance, we want to this time since we don't declare it this as static, we have to create an object for ADP sort. So we have sort that or let's say yeah uh, for an instance so sort that have we don't have any array yet. So we have arrays, assuming we have inputs. Yes, for now we have we will have to okay. and then we will uh since uh, yeah sorry we don't have let's just make use of R sorry okay all right so in that case we can now just put this one in a system that out that print line that and then if we get to run this one go to we lacked one more because ah yan pala kasi we have edited this one in our previous this uh, discussion this could be something point equal backslash n okay so i guess already correct and Okay, so now our bubble sort is already okay. Then uh, for this, we can actually test this, this one out outside of this uh, ADT since because this ADT will have to uh, separate our main method. So in this case, we are going to copy paste this one, the main method of this ADT sort, and then this is what we are going to here. So in this case, we have now ADP sorting algorithm, which is named ADP sort. Okay, like that. So we can copy exchange sort right there, like we copy and then put it here in the public. At public, we will be collapsing this one. I mean, is it still collapsing? But sorry, 
public link exchange store. Or you can have int num, it depends to your preference, but this time I will just have to make my programs uniform in everything I do. So I have here, I'm sorry for that. Okay, so exchange sort and then return turn on so also we have edited, uh, edited this one earlier in our previous discussion have to make it uh, we'll have to fix this okay and then what happens right here start and what okay so let's check Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can now also call that sort. No? Okay, we have sort that exchange. Okay, so something like that one. Okay, so and then lastly, we have selection sort. We are also going to copy this one there in our ADT sort so we can now close this one this one back to here and then public link selection sort then we can have num here instead of r but we have to make this na uniform na lang for all of the uh, for all of my codes here I'm going to uh, what happened? I don't have something like all. I need to bring all is equal to and then return all. Yeah, okay. And then we can do something like control it right there, sort that. Okay, and you're able to actually compare uh, what happened. Hmm, don't have sorry equals to backslash. N. Sorry for that because we're live. Yeah, so there you are. There you are. You can also use uh, GUI component instead of uh, what we call this one. Happen. Okay. Okay, let this sort. Yes, because go back again. Yeah, but anyway, let's wait for it. Okay, so we can actually do something like okay, we can make this as like our, our private thing all. Let's make it global. Just make sure you do that every now and then. Okay. Also with the all here. And with the hold, we can actually also uh, all this equal to so anything that is common there. Okay, one, just make sure you initialize it. So we have a zero there. Uh, another, another one is for long start and end, we can also use, uh, we can also transfer that one here. And and then you have here instead of the declare start and end there sort all over the place where you de just declared start and end and then yeah you can have that one even 
the x, even the y, because it's common, you can actually put it there. Okay, so we can also include uh, what we call this one constructor. So when you want to, like, uh, what you would like to do for this one. Or maybe probably you are going to initialize the hold and start and end also uh yes and also you can have um here you can have another let's say you want your all your only probably if you want to have like the max capacity the max value for your sort uh i mean for the elements of the array if you wish Okay, so just make sure you are going to declare something like here, like max. Yeah, max. Private it, int max, and then max, max. And then if you are going to uh, make or create entry here, like going to accept entry from for this, and you can actually create uh, another method to get entry, entry from the user for your element based on the max okay something like instead of uh instead of you do it right here you can actually do it right uh, like right here no and then yeah so something like public void uh add values okay and then after that You'll have to declare first your array in R right here. You'll have here uh, array equals new in uh, max. And then also right here, because this is default construct for, you might as well you include here max as like max is equal to five, something like that. And then just in case we you call this one because again in this manner you call the default constructors and then it's like uh it's like five up to five max value ang uh, pwede a store sa kung uh, add values or add elements okay and then after that you will have your data entry for like create the group for int i is equal to zero i is done uh, r dot length i plus after that you take entry okay let's say for an instance we have r is r4 dot index is equal to here dot parse int collection pane show input enter number okay so after that we can uh, you can now call whatever you would like to do so for this we can have here let's say since this is a we can have here like it add values and then you will return the add the r yeah, so basically that's what you are going to do for an instance um, assuming that we are going to copy paste this one and then as let's let's try na lang no Let's see that we have x okay. and then after that as int r equals to sort that add value so basically uh, we have six or six let's say we have four na lang. Oh, let's run the program we have three fifty six 129, 54, you have here, we have your loop, okay? 
So there's something is uh, happening here, like strange in our selection sort. It's always it's already sorted. So what happened? Hmm. I think, uh, yeah, it's probably because of the, because since Java is, we already sorted the value and for about me to reading in the election sort, it's now already sorted. No, so it's maybe because of the, it's already sorted in the memory. Something like that. Mm. Let's see, let's see. So again, if you have uh, more sorting algorithm to do here, you can actually put it right here. But let's fix the this one. What happened with selection sort? And it seems like the our bubble sort is actually working. Our bubble sort, but with our selection sort seems like it's already sorted. That's what I've observed. So that is probably the case of like memory, something uh, it's already sorted in your memory mm, because we passed the array there as it's already sorted. So probably what we do with this one is uh, Hmm. Let's have something R one. Yeah, it have to be like that. So maybe in uh, another tutorial, I'll I'll just uh, I'll try I'll just try to fix this one right now. But it's a matter of like uh, because we already have a series of sorting uh, already like we already called. Uh, let's try yeah, if it's really sorted. Can it be in by one hundred? Yeah, it's always sorted. So what happened with selection sort? Mm -hmm. visit our selection sort right here so let me fix this one wait for a while yeah it's okay actually there's no problem at all but when we convert it into ADP, it seems like the algorithm is not working anymore. So, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. All, 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 we are okay with bubble sort. But with bubble sort, it's yeah, it's uh, that's why it's um, descend, it's in descending order. And then with uh, okay, not as a bubble sort, we are okay with exchange sort. The problem we have is actually in the selection sort. All all. Of Seems like okay. I think there's no problem at all. Wait for a while. Let's test this one again. Yeah, there. Okay. So it's just because of the all. Okay. So let's try again. Of thirty-five. So nine and sorry yeah you can have that one if we are going to use um, 
strength tokenizer. But for now, we, I mean, let's not do that. Let's have a separate topic for that. So that's it. It's already since, uh, yeah, it's because we entered already sorted values. So accidentally. All right. So I guess we call it a day. Thank you guys for having here and watching my video. Have a great day. If you have questions, just comment on it. If there are probably things that I have uh, or that mistake or something like wrong information that I've just said, please uh, uh, call my attention by commenting in my video. Okay. So thank you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.